it's Rebecca and Happy New Year. I hope your January is going well so far, even though we're only in the first week, at the end of the first week of January. It is, it's a week since New Year. Okay, anyway, I <laughs> hope you're having a decent January so far. Today is another book review day and I have been reading Bed by David Whitehouse. So I will read you the blurb and then talk to you about the book. Mal isn't like the other kids. So remarkable is his childhood that his family waits for the incredible things he seems born to do. Then one day he goes to bed, never to get out again. Recounted by Mal's younger brother, Bed is a coming-of-age story like no other. It chronicles the metamorphosis of one extraordinary man and explores what love, loss and family can do to you in a lifetime. Enchanting, funny, surreal and heartwarming, David Whitehouse's novel presents one of the most thrilling and unique voices to emerge from Britain in years. So this was a book I picked up at one of the library book sales a long while ago. Sounded really, really interesting. Obviously didn't read it because I don't read books when I buy them. But my goodness, this is a brilliant book in so many ways. First of all, David Whitehouse has such an amazing poetic voice. Just the way he strings his sentences together, the words he uses, it's beautiful. Just to read it out loud is, oh, it's amazing. It just flows so well and he phrases things in such an imaginative, different kind of way. Metaphors and similes aren't cliched. They become so cliched that you just don't want to read them. But in this book, he invents and creates and imagines so much outside of the box. And it is lovely. It just as words on a page, it's lovely to read. So even if you don't enjoy the story, which you will, but even if you don't enjoy the story, you can't help but enjoy the beautiful way he puts his words together. So that was the first thing that I really, really liked about this book. Secondly, it's so sad and so sad. I don't think there's any other way of describing this book other than sad. The story, like the blurb says, is told from the point of view of Mal, who is the guy that gets into bed and never gets out from the point of view of his younger brother and just before I started this video I kind of thought oh I can't remember what Mal's younger brother's name is and I don't think it's mentioned which is really interesting correct me if I'm wrong if you've read this and you and you know what his name is then please let me know but throughout the book because it's told from his point of view his name doesn't get mentioned as far as I'm aware and he kind of looks up to his brother but his brother is very strange from childhood he insisted on always taking his clothes off wherever they were whatever they were doing he would take his clothes off if they were in a restaurant or they were staying at a hotel and had gone down for breakfast he took his clothes off he took his clothes off in the theater he took his clothes off at the beach he took his clothes off wherever he possibly could take his clothes off but he didn't see anything wrong with it he just took his clothes off that was the natural way of being for him and even though society kind of goes, oh, you know, people should be wearing clothes, he just didn't, didn't care to wear clothes. And then one day he gets into bed, and he doesn't want to get out. And his mum doesn't know what to do. Well, basically his whole family doesn't know what to do, but his mum is really struggling with her son staying in bed. And she almost perpetuates his desire to stay in bed, she doesn't force him up, she doesn't do anything to to get him out of that. She feeds him, she washes him in bed, she wraps him up and makes sure that he's all nice and comfy. And it almost breaks up the family. And it's a really strange thing for me. I mean, my bed has one of those magnetic drawers where you, you get up and then it draws you straight back to bed and it's comfy and it's lovely and once I got my new mattress my bed was just the best place to be but I do know that you need to get up every now and then and Mal doesn't get up and it leaves you with so many questions why is he doing this what is the purpose of him staying in bed this whole time and as he stays in bed he gets fatter and fatter and fatter and th 
things get lost in his rolls of fat, the blankets fuse to his body because he's not cleaning himself and oh it's 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 quite horrific and the brother the voice of the book doesn't know what to do dad just moves himself away completely he hides up in the loft space no one knows what he's doing up there but he can't be around his family he doesn't know what to do and it's just a book full of questions and you almost do put yourself in the position of the brother, the voice. What would you do? How would you react? How would you behave? And yeah, it just, it left me really, really sad, but I enjoyed it. I know it's a weird kind of juxtaposition to enjoy something that makes you feel sad, but it was just written so well and so beautifully. And another thing I really liked about it, that sometimes I don't like in books, but this one worked, it jumps from time periods. So you start off with them as children and then it goes to adulthood and then it goes back a bit and then it goes forward a bit and then it jumps from the past to the present to a little bit further away in the past to a little bit more recent in the past to the present. And it doesn't let you know when it does that, but it's written in such a way that you slip into the time period without needing to be told when it is. And... It could be confusing, but I I really thought that was something that worked brilliantly well in this. I don't really have a bad word to say about this book. It is so well written, such an interesting story, and I've not read anything similar to this before, and I think you should read it too. So if you'd like to hear any of my other book reviews, then please subscribe. I put videos out every time I've read a book, done something bookish, bought some books. So if you like reading and or writing and anything like that really, then please subscribe and I will see you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.